Ooh. Okay, I think I just thurped. So despite the fact that I am on my third year of college, I have still not mastered the art of studying and doing homework effectively. Like I am the type of person to procrastinate, try to watch TV in the background while I'm doing homework. I go on my phone a lot when I'm doing homework. I'm just overall not a great student, but I think it's about time that I try to better my ways and just improve the way I go about studying and anything school related. And so this week I'm going to be trying something called the Pomodoro Technique. I heard about it on a podcast a while back and I know it's been a thing for years, I'm kind of late to this, but I was intrigued and I thought, you know what, I will give it a go. So for this whole week, I'm going to be following the Pomodoro Technique. And for those of y'all wondering what the hell is this Pomodoro Technique, I'll explain it real quick. So pretty much what you do with this method is you can apply it to any task that you have to do. It doesn't have to be school necessarily. So you're going to break it down into intervals. So you set a timer for 25 minutes and you do that task during those 25 minutes. Then you take a five minute break. You repeat this three more times and then you get a longer break of 30 minutes. And after that, you can repeat it all over again, or if you're finished with the task, then you're all set. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be trying for the week. I've heard a lot of good things. There's many people who say that it's helped them become more productive. And so I wanna see if it does any good for me, cause I really do struggle with just getting work done. So yeah, we're gonna go through the week, see what happens, and at the end, I will give my overall review on the Pomodoro technique. So I will see you guys on the other side. So starting off with Tuesday, I set my timer up for 25 minutes. I started doing work. I will say I spent a good portion of the time just kind of like scrolling through Canvas, trying to figure out what I wanted to start doing. But then I finally actually started reading my textbook and all that. And then it was finally time for my break of five minutes. And I really had to take a shit. So I just like got up and did that. And that pretty much took up the whole time. And then I got back to doing more work. And honestly, I felt like the workflow was pretty good. At the beginning, it was kind of hard for me to get into it. But then once I started, I was really just getting used to it. And I felt like I was being really productive and actually just getting shit done, which is great. And I would like to add that I did look up what were some good options for what you should be doing during your breaks while following the Pomodoro technique. Because I kind of had a feeling that they wouldn't suggest that you go on social media during these five minute breaks. And I was right. It said not to do that. Instead, it said to try and do something like meditation, stretching, breathing techniques, drawing, listening to some music, you know, something chill, but just not going on your phone. And so I did exactly that. For one of my breaks, I decided to do some stretching. And I will say I really did want to check my phone so bad, but I was like, I want to try this technique as effectively as possible. I want to get the best results from this. So I'm going to do what works best for it. And then it was Wednesday and here is Cheyenne just sitting on my notebook because I don't know, she's just quirky like that really, but I did end up having to get her off of it because I actually had to use it for school and I got right into it. This was the last thing I wanted to be doing because I had just worked both of my jobs that day, but you know, we got to stay on that grind. I saved my homework for the last minute, so it's kind of on me, you know? For those of y'all wondering what the hell I'm doing with this Yeti mic and all that. This is literally for a school assignment, I swear. It's for a French video that I have to do. And I also even put the ring light on my computer because the quality is so ass. But even with the ring light, it wasn't that much better. But I felt like being extra, you know, especially because I I spent my money on this mic. I might as well get my use out of it. I low-key want to start a podcast. Like, just talking into this makes me want to start a podcast. I just got it for voiceovers, but honestly, this is a really good podcast mic. And by the time the third interval came around for doing work, I started to get really tired. Like I was truly struggling. I could barely focus. So I ended up kind of just saying fuck it and closing my laptop and going to sleep. And being totally honest, I ended up submitting my last assignment not totally done. It was like 70% done, but I was just too tired to care at that point. Like I went right to bed after this. 
And last but not least, we have Sunday, and I had a lot of last minute homework to do this night. It was not fun. I did it in bed though, because I was just lazy. And by the way, I just want to say this footage is not actually from Sunday because I accidentally deleted it. I don't know how I did that, but I just did. So this is actually me like a week later just pretending to do homework on the laptop. And yeah, I did like three intervals of the Pomodoro technique and I was pretty productive that night. And for those of you who may be wondering why I only do three days of schoolwork a week, it's because I'm a part-time student. Okay, so it's officially the end of the week, and now I'm gonna give my overall thoughts on the Pomodoro technique. Oh god, there's people walking over. I didn't think this through. They're like coming over. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop real quick. There's another person coming. What the fuck? I just wanna film a YouTube video, y'all. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So I'm just gonna start off with the pros and then go on to the cons about the Pomodoro technique. So first up, I do want to say it really did help me. I feel like I got my work done faster than I typically would. This technique really does force you to kind of just 100% focus on your task. Once that timer turns on, like, you just instantly get into work, you get into the zone, and I feel like I produced better quality work than I typically would. And I also love how the Pomodoro technique includes breaks, because I feel like breaks are very much needed. A lot of people skip breaks and just like try to work in one big chunk of time not realizing that it's kind of counterproductive because i feel like breaks really do help you work better i've noticed when i try to work for like an hour straight i usually end up really slowing down and my my brain is just not working as good by the end of it and so those were all the pros for me with the pomodoro technique now going on to the cons i just have like a couple minor things the first thing is i feel like the 25 minutes was kind of too long for me but i know that there's other people who adjust it to like 15 or 20 minutes so i think i'm gonna try that next time i just stuck to the 25 minutes for this whole video because that's what i saw mostly online but i've heard people do less um chunks of time for when they're working so i'm gonna try like 15 and 20 minutes next time and then the next thing is it's kind of a given and it's very minor, but the timer does get annoying. I will say that, like having the timer constantly going off is pretty annoying. And also, since you do need to constantly be using the timer with this technique, I know that it's kind of inconvenient for when you wanna go out and study in a public place, like a library or something. Because if you have a timer that just keeps on going off in a public setting, people are probably gonna get annoyed with you and pissed off and maybe even tell you to stop it. So. Definitely this is something that is better for you to do in your own room, in your own space, or like with friends if you have a study room together, that could work out well. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about this technique. I definitely recommend it for you if you haven't found something that works for you when it comes to studying and doing homework efficiently. But yeah, that's everything that I had to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have tried this technique or you're gonna try it. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Anyways, I will see you guys next time, bye.